So be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and be sure to stay tuned because I'm going to try and make some more episodes ASAP for this Corona virus. Well, for the quarantine. Hashtag quarantine. Back to witness goodness where we are building the most epic cabin you've ever seen in your entire life today i've got my trusty sidekick the robin to my batman max corleas <laughs> <laughs> he just took out a bunch of commercial glass out of this like a new building that they just installed it into like a couple years ago so it's basically new glass no one's ever really used it and so we got 20 two windows because now we're gonna replace all the old sash windows i had for the window wall because reglazing them would literally take the rest of our lives so um off to the races we're gonna put these bad boys in the cabin hopefully it doesn't fall down because of the weight and then we will start to frame in these new windows jackson i threw it already over there Right, guys we are back at it max and i didn't install any of the windows because well we have to reframe it and uh we went to harbor freight because they had a sweet sidewalk sale so there you have it anyhow this is the next day before we get started on yet another portion of the cabin i figured we might as well finish these windows off so as you know those original windows oh i see a nail sticking out here yeah yeah yeah. As you know, those original windows that I had basically for the entire cabin, I'm not using any of them. The sash windows, which are the old school white windows with the kind of the hash in it or whatever you call that thing. Those are single glazed and they're old and they have to be reglazed. And when you, when you say reglazing, it's kind of a weird term. Like I would assume that it would be like you're glazing the actual glass with like a coat or something, but it's, it's that, that kind of caulking around the outside of the glass. It's just a really long process, especially because you use this like wood window putty. Um, I can make a video if you guys really want to see how to do it because Max is a pro and he can show you how to glaze those old windows. But trust me, each window takes like at least 25 minutes uh, to do it right. Uh, so anyhow, we went, out, we went ahead and got these new windows. Big pluses, they're new. They're gonna be efficient. They basically fit my sizes. I just had to bring it down a little bit as you saw in that last episode. What else? Oh, they open. <laughs> because I'm going commercial glass, none of my windows are gonna open. So it's very important that the cabin gets some kind of fresh breeze. So all these open up, which is kind of nice. Uh, so you can open them up on a hot day or cool day or whatever day and get that breeze going. Um, you're not gonna get like a crazy cross breeze or anything, but you're definitely gonna get a breeze. So now that these are all nailed in, I'm gonna get my flashing tape uh, and I'm gonna put it around the windows. And then after that, I'm gonna cut my trim, slot that in, and then around that trim is where the cock will go. So yeah, let's get after it.
too far into this episode. I just want to let you know that I'm with you. This is kind of a weird time. I'm not I'm not one of those people to get all freaked out and buy, you know, a dozen bags of uh, toilet paper. Um, but I'm also not gonna judge those who did because, you know, <laughs> I guess some people do s'more or something. I have no idea. You know, everyone's handling this whole situation a little bit differently. I do a lot of computer work for my real job and it, it can get, it can get hard to, uh, you know, try and not listen to all the stuff that you hear coming down the pipeline. And although a lot of it could be 100% true and a lot of it could be helpful and these are things you know, we should all know. If you spend a significant amount of time throughout the day kind of checking in and seeing what's happening, you're gonna get freaked out, you're gonna get more anxious. And you know, if I have one or two little tidbits of advice, it's just to just relax, go out, go for a hike, do it with, you know, one friend or one family member, and just take this time to just take a step back because this is a wake up call for a lot of people. I don't know if you have realized this, but this is a, it's a wake up call because in the grand scheme of things, yeah, this is a big deal, but it's not, it's not a world war. It's not, uh, you know, zombie apocalypse, although it starts to feel like it. So, you know, this is just a good time to take a step back and realize, whoa, have I ever been looking at life through maybe the wrong set of goggles or something? I'm not a psychologist or a doctor, but I think if we all just take a step back, take a deep breath in, relax, and we gotta, we gotta treat each other right, okay? The life is not over as we know it. It's definitely very different and crazy out there. I'm not saying it isn't but I'm here working on my cabin. I'm not doing this because I'm trying to forget that stuff's going on. Trust me, this stuff is going on and it's serious. Am I making sense? I'm just trying to be encouraging to you guys because people are losing their marbles. It's almost worse than getting sick at this point. We just gotta relax. Like I have a friend, my good buddy Jesse, and he's had a kidney transplant. So he is one of those people that is very susceptible to getting sick and, and when he gets sick, it, you know, it's not good. It's like hospital visit type of thing. So we can't just live our lives nonchalantly like this isn't a big deal, like this is just any other flu. We don't know all the schematics, but like I said, don't be a douche canoe and let's try and keep our cool, okay? All right, let's get back to it. What's up? This episode is a culmination or a combination, if that word's too big for you, because it's too big for me and I don't even know if I said it right. This is a culmination or a combination of multiple days, mainly because, uh, as you know, this virus is going around. The COVID-19. Corona. And uh, it's a little bit cray cray. Anyhow, it's a beautiful day to get outside. It's a little windy out, so if it gets windy, my apologies. But we're gonna finish off the trim on here so we can finish off this entire side of the cabin before we go too far forward on anything else because I just want this side done. So, the trim now is slightly narrower. It used to be a full two by four width or height or thickness or whatever you wanna call it. I ripped them down to two inches. So now we got two inches on the bottom. Because I don't wanna waste wood and because the very top doesn't matter, we're gonna go inch and a half on top. We're using pressure treated now because, well, I think it's the better decision to do pressure treated, especially on that window wall uh, where it's most exposed to rain. So I got a bunch of pressure treated. And so I decided I'm just gonna go ahead and put pressure treat on this side. And so, yeah, we're gonna go trim out this side and then we can finish off the cedar siding. <laughs> I guess we're only doing window trim today. No siding because, uh, well, it's starting to rain. This weather won't make its mind up. 
Next day, it's like, it's gotta be 80 degrees out. It's like all of a sudden hot. Um, we got the trim up here. It's pressure treated. It's eventually gonna get painted. However, you're not supposed to paint pressure treated that's fresh, I think. I think it has to dry out a little bit. So we're just gonna go ahead and wait on that. But we're gonna try and get the cedar siding done on this wall. And that way this wall is done. We can start moving on to bigger and better things. We're probably gonna work on the window wall after that or the, the side wall. Um, and then basically for exterior wise, it's just that big window wall. So we're gonna go ahead and start putting shingles up again. It's been a while. It's gonna feel good. out well because I'm using little scraps I don't know where the scraps are from but they were all the same height I'm guessing from here and so I've been able to use the scraps to kind of start to go up into the rafters um, but because there's gonna be way more cuts that I'm gonna have to do up here I'm just gonna hold up since I've used up those scraps because I don't want to be cutting fresh pieces if I don't have to because chances are I'm gonna end up having some scraps left over anyhow. So we're gonna halt on this wall. I know I wanna finish it, but we're gonna go around and on the door wall here, we're gonna continue that now. here to protect it even more to protect the wood I'm gonna put a little thing of flashing on it that should just encourage the water to get the heck away from my building as well as just protect this beautiful beautiful cabin this is all custom here folks this is as custom as it comes we're gonna bend this using my trusty piece of wood here. <laughs> oh, this is not the way to do it, but that's okay. Where there's a will, there's a way. Custom. Oh, I love how custom that is. Wow. As you can see, I'm a trained professional. <laughs> oh. oh. starting to rain again and I got a ton of gear out right now so I got to try and clean up this episode I don't think really much happened every time I started doing something the weather started to turn tomorrow's Saturday and you guys deserve this video so even though I really didn't accomplish well I guess I got the window trim up um, I got some more cedar siding on but today is Friday and tomorrow's Saturday so I am going to just edit this and make it as entertaining as possible because you guys, like me, are at home. I get to work from home. I can, I can do a lot of video editing for clients at home, which is great. Tomorrow is the weekend, so I am hoping to do a good chunk on this. 
and then I can release another episode this week because like I said a lot of you guys are home like myself and a little good quality artisanal organic content goes a long way you know none of that synthetic stuff this is the real deal guys as always I love your comments I love it when you like the video and when you subscribe it means a lot so get after it and we'll see y'all on the next one peace <laughs>